how to drop ship on eBay using CJ Drop Shipping. If you're looking to start a drop shipping business on eBay, CJ Drop Shipping is a great option to consider. With CJ Drop Shipping, you can source product from a wide range of categories, including fashion, electronics, home and garden, and more. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to drop ship on eBay using CJ Drop Shipping. From signing up for an account and selecting products to listing them on eBay and fulfilling orders. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have the knowledge you need to start successfully drop shipping business on eBay using CJ Drop Shipping. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to make sure that you have done is to make sure that your eBay account is fully verified and up and running. Over here right now, you're going to make sure that you are currently logged in and on another tab so that we would be able to connect our CJ Drop Shipping much faster. Now, over here on the CJ Drop Shipping, if you don't have an account, you can simply click on register over here or sign in. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to proceed and sign in. And just like that, after signing in, we would be redirected back to this page over here. And as you can see here, we will now be able to access our MyCG. Now we're going to click this. Now in this section, this is where we will be able to manage all our different sales, everything we would need to do to manage our store. Now I'm going to give you a quick tour before we proceed. As you can see right now, we are currently on our dashboard. Over here on the top part, we have inventory alert. It's going to alert you if one of your products is almost out of stock and it's going to show up over here. You also have your source product over here, pending payment, pending CJ orders, coupons, and card. You could also see here that we have a member level over here. It's going to rise up as the more you use CJ drop shipping. Scrolling down, we could also see here our order analysis. We would be able to see our orders over here, daily total amount, daily average amount. You could also see your bills over here and activated stores. As you can see here, I have already connected my store, but I'm still going to teach you later on on how to connect it. Now over here, we could also see our shipping method statistics. We have our shipping analysis and shipping status. We have our product recommendations over here to help us choose more products that we could sell on our eBay store. Now over here on the left side, we have listing, purchase list, my photography, my inventory, wish list, custom packaging, and customization. We also have our orders over here. In this section, we would be able to manage all the different orders that we are receiving, like imported orders, orders fulfillment, disputes, undelivered orders, and orders tracking. We also have our cart over here where we can check out the drop shipping orders and purchase cart. We have our product over here. This is where we will be able to check out all the different products that we will be listing on our CJ drop shipping. And we also have our print on demand over here where we can ask people to send us their design or we could design the products ourselves and we would be printing the product and then sending it to them. We also have store authorization over here. This is where we will be able to connect our eBay store. As you can see here, it's not limited to eBay. We have Shopify, eBay, TikTok, WooCommerce, Etsy, Wix, Lazada, and Shopee. On the API section here, you would be able to add this CJ dropshipping page of yours to any website that you have through an API. There's also other options over here. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how you can authorize and connect your eBay account to your CJ drop shipping. Now, like I said earlier, this is where we will be connecting eBay. So like I said earlier, also make sure that your eBay is already opened on another tab to make it easier for you. So you're simply going to click this and over here, you would be able to see our store list. Currently my store is authorized and activated. What you're simply going to do is you're going to click on add store over here on the top right. For you, there will be nothing on your list because it will be a new account. So you're simply going to click this and it will automatically connect to your eBay over here, which is already logged in. And for me, this is what I'm seeing right now because I have already authorized it. But for you guys, when you do this for the first time, it's going to open a new tab and it's simply going to ask you one page of authorization. Don't worry, it's not that hard. It's just going to 
have one step of authorization and you're simply going to click on the authorize button and you would be able to see this message over here meaning that you are successfully fully authorized now the next step of what we're going to do is we're going back to our dropshipping home page and over here we're simply going to look for a product that we would like to sell as you can see here there are a lot of things that we could sell and if you are looking for a specific product that you would like to sell you could see over here on the left side that we have different categories over here you're simply going to look for the product that you are looking for and simply choose that specific product for us we're going to go with consumer electronics we're going to press that specific category and it will redirect us to this page where we can see all the different electronics that we could drop ship and sell to our ebay store now we're simply going to select a product that we would like to sell for example we're going to go with this one over here we're going to click this and it will redirect us to this page where we can see information about this specific product as you can see here we have the title the price the different variation the sizes and quantity over here now scrolling down we would be able to see this options as you can see right now we have the connect list sell and earn buy now customize add to queue add to sq list and photo request now what we're going to mainly focus on today is either the connect and the list over here now on the connect this is when you already are selling this specific type of product on your drop shipping and you would need to restock your product this is what you would need to click to restock your sales and fill up on your inventory now since we haven't added this to our list yet what we're going to click right now is the listing over here by clicking this we would be able to add this product to our store so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to click this and it's going to show us this pop-up over here as you can see here on the top we have our store selected here automatically the ship from is also automatically selected because there is no other option and as you can see here we have other categories as well we're going to reselect this and we would be able to choose the category that we would like for our specific item you could choose any option that you want but i suggest that you go with the accurate category because that will also appear here on your ebay account and as you can see here also we have the variants this is where we will be able to manage what type of product we would like to sell you could click on this button over here which would unselect them and click on the specific product that you would like to sell only for example we're going to go with this one product and we're going to enter our price over here we're going to type in 500 maybe just like that and we're going to type in a listing quantity for the listing quantity this is how many products that we would like to have on our store so that is that for now and after that you can simply click on list now or you could also click on edit before listing edit before listing would allow us to edit our product with more details for example we're going to wait for it to load as you can see here we will be able to edit our title of our product we could also add tags we could also edit our description over here you could edit every single part of this product the image the variants the shipment and others over here now after doing this you could also like i said earlier edit the category and see your product store over here now after doing uh, your editing you would be able to click on list now over here and you would be successfully able to list your product now for me i'm not going to click this for now because my account is having issues but that is what you would need to do as you can see here i have this other products as well that is currently listed on my cj dropshipping and you can simply click on list now on the side of this products over here to be successfully listed on your ebay store also and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video that is how you could successfully drop ship on ebay using cj dropshipping you could do this on almost every product available in dropshipping it is completely up to you and hope you were able to learn from this video. Thanks for watching.